hello, welcome back to Nightmares Incarnated Conspiracy of Demons. Uh, I would like to apologize because I just realized that we had gone through the first half of the session without doing any recording of the player audio, which is my bad. I do feel very bad because um, we have some great players here, as per usual. Um, I mean, I'll say again at the end, but... Since it's since this is essentially the beginning of where I'm going to cut the YouTube video, uh, we have Gilrock with us. Esper. Hello? Hello. Okay, there we go. Um, and we have a very amazing uh, dungeon master. Uh, Rob, why don't you tell them about some of the games you have open right now real quick? Uh, okay. Uh, hi, it's me. It's Rob. It's RP RPG Mastery. Uh, hopefully the link will still be uh, in the description down below. I have some new, I have some uh, bunch of games going on. Uh, typically during the weekdays, uh, weekdays during the evenings, and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday afternoons, uh, depending on the game and depending on when you're watching this. There'll be various games open, open and or uh, and or uh, concluded by the time uh, people watch this. But at the current moment, I think I have. Uh, a new Dragonlance campaign opening up on Wednesday nights. I'm very excited to, to uh, get some seats on that. Also have a Ravnica campaign that recently started, uh, and a uh, and a um, uh, and a Tomb Annihilation game that goes on on, on Tuesday nights. That's uh, very interesting. Very very different from the book. I pretty much threw the book out the window. Uh, so yeah, good times. Uh, thank you very much for the uh, shout out and have fun. And as usual, thank you for having me. Uh, yeah, of course. It's it's always a pleasure, and the link is is always in the description. Yes. Um, to recap, what happened during the first half? Um, in essence, uh, Palmethus played chess with Valerian, who was possessing Rook's body. Uh, Palmethus was discussing mind flares. Valerian probably played his hands a bit too much. Uh, he has been stuck in a box for one hundred and twenty years, one hundred twenty thousand years. So. Let's let's keep that in mind. It would be in, let's be a little less harsh on him. Um, just my opinion. Nah, he's still stupid. Anyways, um, but after that, they cast seeming on themselves. Uh, the other group that was going with Laren has already teleported out. They have Palmethus in their ranks, so who knows how many are going to end up finding their way back to the party uh, before they die could be who knows what's gonna happen there uh it'll be interesting herman what happens off screen with that at when the time comes hopefully some of them live um we'll see how effective Palmethus this is uh and then we got to the thieves guild alkios was hot caught uh being a little spy uh he got ensnared Alkios appealed to Gilrock and Rook's and Dampmoss's better natures. However, since Rook, uh, unfortunately Rook was with us, uh, he appears to have had a power outage, so we weren't able to really hear what his thoughts were. But um, we had a bit of a debate and some discussion uh, between Elmara and Gilrock and some others about what should be done. Uh, and Alkios's warlock contract was amended so he cannot speak and he will have his memories taken from him upon leaving this place um is there anything else that i should include no i think that's it no i think i could think of okay Dead. um again i do really apologize for fucking that up uh i was i had it off because if you had watched the last Boulder's Gate episode, you would know that um, the alarms were really annoying the fuck out of me, and I had I didn't want y'all to suffer through that noise while I had to. So it is what it is, and we are changing scenes. As you mark the teleportation circle on the ground, you feel it begin to shift underneath you as magic tendrils emerge from. Within, why isn't it changing? Um, as magic tendrils emerge from the circle around you, silently you cast glances and you look at the orb in the center. Its giant, magnificent edifice pulsating with each second as you wonder what could be trapped within. 
that caused the civilization to be so threatened by it. And you are whisked away to... Why isn't it... Has the scene changed for you? Yeah, uh, it is a white L-shaped hallway. Okay, like cool. That, that this character is about to take. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I wanted to make sure that, because so that was on my end then, that it wasn't changing. I was like, huh. And for the people watching, so refresh. You find yourself in what appears to be a white metallic hallway, unlike anything you have ever seen before in your life. This looks weird. As uh, Alkyo steps out from the portal magic, you see his eyes go cross for a moment, and he stumbles before catching himself on a wall. What just happened? Don't worry about it. What do you do? Uh... I mean, I I go clippity cloppity clippity cloppity on my hooves, and they go clang 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 on the metal floor. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, it, I mean, I want to see if I see anything uh, trap-like or suspicious here. Um, there are no traps. Uh, you can roll perception though to see what you see. Eighteen. This appears to be a mostly empty hallway, uh, with several doors leading to various rooms. Which way is north? There is an oppressive air to it. Uh, you can't tell. You're underground. Uh, I, can, I can always tell. Oh, okay. Well, which way is north would be what appears to be to the right on the screen. Okay. I say to Omar, so that way's north, at least. Mm, yes, genius. <laughs> well, there's a door here, so. Okay. Is it just a normal ass door? Or... It is a normal door. Uh, it is made out of. It is a metallic mechanical door with a button next to it. Do you Do press I know it. What a button is? I yes, uh, buttons were invented a long time ago. <laughs> Yeah, but do they look like a button that we know of? No, it it, it looks like a little plastic red thing. I've seen these in elevators when I went to LA. I click it. All right, you open the door to the laboratory. The There's air. Strange metal bowls in here. The air is oppressive as you enter this room. It reeks of rot and decay. I close door. Can you roll me another perception check, please? Sure. 24. Oh, Mars already angry. <laughs> Y'all wanted to come to the decom unit, right? I, I want to make I want to be clear about that. This was intentional. Yeah, we went to the team. Oh my god, it's my worst fucking enemy. Oh uh, you hear Gilrock as you're leaving the the bathroom, something rattling around inside one of the stalls. Huh? Close door. <laughs> There's something in, in there, but it mean, doesn't sound like something we need to worry about. <laughs> Raise that eyebrow. What was it? Uh, didn't check. Sounded like something I have not had pleasant experiences with before. We can kill it, or we can just move on. She's debating, but yeah, she'll follow. All right, then let's go over here. And I'll uh, I'll hit up a divine sense. So divine sense procs, uh, angels, fae. <coughs> what else? 
demons, devils. Yeah, fiends, uh, celestials, and uh, desecration, consecration, stuff like that. This re- this entire facility reeks of consecration of de ugh, desecration. Sorry, I fucked up there. It's disgusting. Physically. Location of any celestial fiend or undead within the city. There are. There are. Behind total cover. There are none of those things technically. So I. I. That's why I was checking. Mm hmm. Yep. Knock, knock. Open door. <laughs> right. Open the door. You see a rat scurrying or wait, go inside, rat. Why did you just pop out there? Rude. Mm-hmm. You see a dark purple skinned rat that's bald. He looks a bit weird, scurrying around on the floor. Damn, it's a shame that thing has to make me a wisdom save. Okay. One, he failed. Cool. It takes nine damage. The dra- the rat is deceased. I just hear a ding ding. <laughs> <It> fucking dies. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Olimara. Squeak. Fuck that rat. Inside of the room, you see a flickering electronic plasma screen. Uh, what appears to be a hastily abandoned room covered with dust and filth. It's a TV. I would have no clue what the fuck a TV is. Yeah, <laughs> it's what are you? Gilrock with this with ex- his extensive knowledge of uh, electronics from his many visits to uh, the 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 mortal plane goes. Uh, it's like a it's like a sort of scrying on a screen on like a flat surface, but w- w- what it's scrying to can either be real or fake. It's like a it's like a showing of a theater play. Well, it doesn't appear to ha- why why isn't there a play on it right now unless the snow is meant to be a play. Sometimes it shows the location of other places like a scrying eye with the use of camera. I think they were called. It's Chimeras. like a no, no, like K- C A M E R A. Camara. Camaro. Camaro. Yeah, it's like it's like a scrying eye, but it doesn't move. It like sits in one place and just sort of looks left to right. It's like a it's like a shitty scrying eye, basically. I don't really see it, but I will take your word for it. I want to look around the room, see if there's any uh, documents or uh, some some in here. There are papers, yes, scattered along the table. It appears whoever left this facility left in a hurry. Something is very off. I mean, even as confusing as the technology is, you can see fungal growth overtaking wilted plants that have long since dried out and turned to dust pieces of paper, some tablets made out of glass. It's all very strange to you. I put it all in my bag of holding. <laughs> I got iPads for everyone, guys. Don't worry. I'm Mr. Beast. <laughs> <laughs> um, since uh, Chris had a little bit of a whoopsie daisy, can we just say that fucking Valerian takes over? Yeah, I was gonna ask uh, if I could do it. It would make life easier. Definitely. So we see him fucking jolt, I guess. And yes. Like, oh, we've got a new guy. So what the fuck's this room? What is this, Valerian? It's a meeting room. What do you mean? This is where we, where this is where a board would certify meetings. I mean. I don't know exactly what went on in the DCOM unit, it wasn't something I specialized in. But this unit was tasked with dealing, controlling disease, pestilence, similar things along that line. Decontamination. It doesn't look very whatever that word was. 
No. Presumably, this facility hasn't been opened in a hundred thousand years. Hmm. Oh, wait. Do, 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 do. Is this a door? No. It's just a weird corner. Do, 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 do. Elmara, do you want to open that office? I'm going to perceive before you open that office. Oh, that's a door there. I perceive. That is a door. Oh, wrong. She almost rolled on pallet. Perception. All right, cool. She doesn't even bother. She just opens it. <laughs> I stand here and I look. Okay. Inside. It's rats. Lots of rats. Uh, I can't see inside. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm do I've got to put the rats in there. I'm moving the rats in. <laughs> Give me a second. Is, is black. I know, but I got. I'm adding rats in right now. You see maybe 20 or 30 weird-looking rats just scurrying around on the floor, eating eating scraps of mold that are peeling off of what used to be this building. Uh, let me get the measuring tool down. You know, rats. Oh, how do you... How do you measure again? You to do the ruler. It's a huge month. Okay, cool. Uh, I will. Uh, I will turn into the exterminator. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, rats! What's going on? You have speak with animals, or you just? <laughs> you remember how I touched a uh, tooth and connected? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Animal. Um, the mind. The brain, the brain, the brain, the brain speaks to us, the brain. Brain, the brain, the brain. We need to bring uh, food to the brain. They're talking about bringing food to our brain, Olmara. This sounds like some illithid shit. Oh, wow, the irony. Alright, I gotta start killing the rats. <laughs> bonk, 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 bonk. <laughs> Dude, stop, I, stop, stop. Have, have, you, have, you ever, have you ever played Duke Nukem Forever? Mm -hmm. Just pick it up and squeeze it? <laughs> yep. Oh, ew. I didn't need to. Don't say that, please. Squeeze that rat. Squish that rat. This rat is gonna try to <laughs> run away. That reaction will whack it. Uh, Roll to hit. Yeah. Fair enough. I think you may hit. <laughs> you, how, how do you kill this rat? <laughs> With my tail, if okay. I wrap it in the, in the tail. <laughs> oh my god. Flick it. I open this door. As she's exterminating the rats in the room. <laughs> Inside this room, you find another what appears to be an office. Uh, several couches now covered with festering fungus, mushrooms growing out of them, like stalks of horrid, beautiful wounds. The wood is halfway rotten through. Uh, there is another monitor, and on the desk behind you see some flickering holographic pictures of a man holding his daughter aloft in the air. A hastily scrawled note in un unknown script to you uh, is sitting on the desk. Oh, dooby dooby, dooby dooby dooba dooby dooby dooba Perry. We cast uh, the the very special spell uh, at ritual comprehend languages. What is what is this? Say? Is this is a note? Whoever's reading this, don't open Ward C. Whatever you do. That thing can never be released again. I don't know if the people above can still hear us. I don't know what's going on. We've scarcely had contact in three months. We're running low on food. Jenkins apparently killed and butchered someone and ate him. We had to put him down. He was my fucking friend. I... 
I never would have figured something like this could happen to us. This, this venture was supposed to be a utopia. Everything we wanted. I left Earth for this. Come and work at this. Come and work at this stupid facility. I, I, I have to kill myself. I can't. I can't continue like this. Depressing. I put no doubt. Oh, you don't finish reading it? Ah, she was. She was just sad. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah mm-hmm. Interesting. Um, so, so he doesn't. It, you know, don't need to seem sick. He's goodbye to his family or whatever. Yeah. That is what is in the note. <laughs> is there a door over here? It is. There is. I listen through the door to see if I hear anything. You hear I put my ear up the, the chittering of rats. What are they? What are they saying? The brain. We must free the brain, the brain, the brain, the brain, the brain. We must free it. The, de the demons. The demons will make deal. The demons, 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 demons. Evil. We will have the conquest. Great, great fame, fortune for the rats. The rat king. Hold on. Elmara? Squish, 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 squish. <laughs> Found any find anything interesting in that room? Squish, 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 squish. <laughs> Fair enough. I open the door. As you open the door, the rats flee into the walls. You enter a room where there are at least where you see flickering monitors, at least one of which appears to still be active in some sort of state. I go over to the one that appears to be active. Which one is it? <laughs> So this one. What is this stuff? Fuck if I know. Um, <laughs> I look at it. Does it say anything, or is it just like flicking blue? Valerian will gently nudge you. Uh huh. Let me act. Let me open it. Okay. Uh, just let me know when I'm done squishing rats. Uh, you you have already finished. I thought you were just continuing to be oh, excessive. That's what I thought. Oh you. no! I thought were, like, you said there were like a million rats. There were like there was there was at least twenty five. Yeah, but I thought she was just okay. like going really hard. Was on still it. on the map. <laughs> stop, still stop, on the map. Stop, so I got stop. confused. Okay. Stop, yeah, stop, I'll I'll, uh, I'll give the room a thorough search through once I'm done stopping all the rats, and then I'll go and meet up with the uh, Galak and them. Uh, you find a note written in a language you do not understand, as well as a few tablets. Um, there are pictures on the desk, again, um, different person this time, a human uh, with a another male human kissing, uh, apparently getting married. Yeah. The rest of it's just rotting away. Decay. Interesting, she says, completely lying to herself. But uh, she'll gather up, uh, gather anything that uh, that could be useful later and go to meet Gorok. Uh, oh, there's the door. Heckin' rats, she says. Damp Moss is, is busy rats. looking at the fungus. Ooh, he's collecting fungi. Valerian, fungi. as Elmara ent enters, Valerian has opened the terminal and then motions for you, Gilrog. You want to search? Search for what? I don't know. I what what are what are you looking for here? Uh what's in um, Ward C? Let's see. Um, he'll quickly hammer out on the keyboard. As a picture flat pops up in front of you, you see a classified document. Access denied. Higher clearance needed. God damn it. Valerian quickly begins to try and hammer at the keyboard in frustration. Is there anything else you can try looking up while I'm seeing if I can bypass this? 
Oh no, we'll see. I listen at this door. Put my ear up. Do I hear more rats? No, you hear something else entirely. Something you don't I, like. I hand motion to Elamara. I do I do sign out of my fucking way, she says at the top right here. Something in here. <laughs> and then I go three, two, one, open door. Plus. And prepare to vicious mockery, whatever's in this place. I hold up a uh, sacred flame. It was like a speed. Oh. Gilch preparing the fattest yo mama joke. <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> Why isn't I he? Don't know. I know. I I don't know either. He shouldn't be showing up. I don't know if you're talking about. Oh damn! Oh, 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 oh. Oh. oh look, it's a small oh. Beholder. I know that thing. It's a little beholder kid. How cute! You open the door. As the door. Fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> Roll initiative. <laughs> it needs to make the wisdom save. <laughs> Twenty four. Well, he needs to make a deck save as well, I guess, for the sacred flame. Yes, sir. Kill me, kill Eng, Eng the king. Damp Moss is distracted. He doesn't hear. He's over here. Alright, Gilrock, whiz save and deck save. Um, whiz save. A 12. That's not high enough, so that's 2d4 psychic damage on this boy. <laughs> Seven. I am, I am not fat. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm making the deck save, but I need it to respond. 19 deck does he, save. Does he cry? Yeah, it's fast. Okay. Does he cry a little bit? Yeah, he cries a little bit. He's not. He does, he's not fat. You just you just body shame. Yep. <laughs> he's just big bones. He, he's just goopy. Uh, Gilrock, do you do anything else? I mean, I've used my action. You have a bonus um, action. I'll give a bardic to Ellie Mara here. Thank you, sweet cheeks. All right. Baby girl. <laughs> right. And then, I, uh, and then I go over here. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, there's there's the best thing to do, which is Eldritch Blast. How many does he get? <laughs> Burast. How many does he get? Uh, he is level twelve, so three. Pew 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 pew. One two. Pew, 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 pew. You need to roll to hit all of them. I think That's... you do. Oh. Yeah, each other's bus is separate. Okay. Um, that. Oh, pew, pew. Oh. Let me see. The beholder can uh sixteen. So that's three hits. One, as you see a bright, sparkling rainbow eldritch blast emerge from his hand and shoot towards this beholder. Eldritch blast is gay. Oh my god! It's flavor because he's they packed. It's also. It's also. He's a, he's a he's a he's a he's an ally. He's an ally. <laughs> Oh my! Oh, oh my goodness! I'm worried right, you. Oh my God! Right up. Get the smack machine going. La -di -da 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 Why can't I attack? There we go. Whack. Skibbity ba 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 ba. Whack. Oh my God. <laughs> Damn. That hit though. I can't see what you rolled. 16. Oh, I don't know why I can't see that. Uh, I rolled not one in the 16. Uh, 16 will hit meat speeds. Yay. Get smoke. Uh, let me mark off this boss up before I do anything crazy. Get smotten. 
yeah plus uh, this is not like a Phoenix version or anything like that. Nope. It's still an aberration. It's still an aberration. One, two, three. Wah. Wah. There you go. Wait. However, it's a total it, of 25. It is different in some other way that you're about to find out because it's, it's its turn. Unless you have another thing you want to do. Uh, Do I have a bonus action that is worth doing? Let's see. You had currently have an ally who's on five health, just FYI. <laughs> uh, he's, ally is a strong word. <laughs> ally, sh ally, sh oh. ally. Yeah, I should have done this before, but I'll activate my Eldritch Call tattoo so I can do a little more damage. You know what? It's fine. We don't worry about these things. Just a beholder kitty. He's a he's little old baby. Yeah. All right. Um... Elmara, since you came up close and hit it in person, I need you to, uh, you're going to take this lightning damage. Save, question mark? Nope, no save. <clears throat> okay. Ouch. Zap. Um, and then it's it... It's got electric skin, I say. And then it is going to hit you. Disadvantage. <gasps> Mm -hmm. Gonna call him a fat ass. Uh, 12 does not hit. Is it only disadvantage on the one, or is it all of them? It's the next attack roll, okay. so it's only the first. Alright, so next one, he got 23 to hit. Uh, let me double check. I'm pretty sure that is not a... Uh, that is a meat, but let me make sure I can't do anything about it. No. That's How it. about um, Silvery Bards? Mm. Uh, do I have that? No, but Gilrock does. I do. Uh, An advantage to my gal. I go, you're still fat. As he hits, as he tries to hit her. <laughs> Thank you, sugar. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so second is a miss. Third. Weave? Yeah, you... Uh... Damn. He's rolling like me. He's rolling like me. Um, Let's go. <laughs> I hate this. All right, that's his turn. Uh, Gilrock, you're in charge of Rook's turn. Okay, five. Why is there a fucking guy here? <laughs> oh, that was what was supposed to be in that room. It, they they weren't showing up. Never, don't ignore them. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, yo, look at all those, look at all those pros. <laughs> look at what the, they look, doing? Look at the I didn't realize they had guy. gone behind Rook. I was like, what the? They just, they just dudes. Those up Rooks, they were, they were up Rooks' ass, goddamn. <laughs> oh my what god. Were what they were you were hiding in there? Uh, I can't play Rook, because Chris has made his uh, okay. user private. <laughs> So I don't know what Rook can do. I do know, however, that he can't get past Alkyos because his fat ass is in the way. So he's uh, he's standing here and he goes, <laughs> Alkyos is Alkyos is not fat. How dare but you? You can't, but you can't pass through the same I know. layer. So he's sit he's stuck here. Um, going, he's gonna cast a bless, bless up, bless up. Yay. He's gonna cast it on uh, Alkyos. Uh, Gilrock and Elmara. It is moi. Yep. I go. That's Rook's turn. I go out and I say, "You know, hey, you know what? Your mama's fat as well. Give me another wisdom save." <laughs> she is not. <laughs> as he fails. How dare death. <laughs> it's three damage and disadvantage on this save. <laughs> Let me see, do I have any funny bonus actions? Um, uh, ma, 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 ma. Oh yeah, I can. Um, uh, it, uh, if motherfucker needs to make a strength save. Okay. You'd probably be a little strong. Ah, uh, 17. Ah, just beat it. He does not get shoved. And then I go, uh, I go, yes, yeah, she is. Then I go behind the corner. <laughs> Alright. The best thing to do for Alkios is to save his spell slots. So, again, with the Eldritch Blast. <laughs> pew pew. Pew 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 pew. 
pew 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 that time pew pew o'clock one that's definitely a hit one would say so yes definitely also a hit let me check if that with hits with bless. It would, because yep. its armor class is 16. <laughs> it does. Pew pew. Pew 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 so, pew. pew. Algios, Elder Pew pew. That's all. This is going to be a lot of damage. Oof. A lot of pews. Alright, that is a total of 36 damage. Wow. Sparkle Thunder. Fuck him up, sugar. Fuck him up, sugar. You got a potential Sunshine. plus 14 to your hit, as well as your normal plus Listen, 14. Listen, I just can't not one, but obviously that's what, that's what I'm going to roll. Nah, nah. See, that was very close to being that one. Whack, whack. Uh, whack. Whack. Uh, was supposed to be two sets on. Why are you rolling so many sets? I only clicked you twice. <laughs> Fuck. I have no idea what's that. Just tell me when the damage is there. <laughs> Alright. Uh, eh. Why is it not showing? <laughs> Whatever. I'll wait for it. The death kiss it. files its nails while we wait. Yep. Yeah, I was like, okay, it's it'll it'll be coming through soon. Just <laughs> God, call call Grandpa, Grandpa. You gotta let my damage through. I'm in the middle of a fight. You're embarrassing. She, she hits it and it, it, it hasn't received the impact yet. It's like delayed. It's a it's a del, it's a delayed impact. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right. Well, uh, it's, 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 let's you know. What? Let me try overloading it more. But you did you did hit it with a melee yep. attack, so yep. you're gonna take this lightning damage regardless. Yep. You get two okay, lightning. Do you see the seventeen? Yes. You roll a seventeen. Okay. Minus seventeen. Seventeen. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Cool. Not including these fucking smites. Oh my uh, god. <laughs> taking twenty-eight so far. Oh, I was supposed to be more than one d eight. Fucking piece of shit thing. Thirty-two uh, so far. One, two, three. There we go. Two firsts. Boom. 53. Totally. Thank you. Quick math. Okay. Yes. It's not looking very good. Cool. And how much lightning? Uh, you took two lightning damage. It didn't roll very good. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> uh, disadvantage on this one. And he misses that first one because of the disadvantage. Oh. <laughs> Next one. That's a hit. Let's go. 27. Silvery barbs. No. We have new rules. No, you said you, I'm only allowed to do it to one person. Oh. Per turn. That was the thing. Okay. I can't do it to multiple, and it can't be done yes. by multiple people on the same Fine. Just ban the spell, please. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> I really don't like banning spells. I don't. Advantage to myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I still hit, though, even with the silvery barbs. Ha ha. Uh, the Elmari, you take this piercing. Uh, you take 10 piercing, uh, and you are grappled, and also, uh, I need a con save from you. Damn. What if she's dummy thick? All right, well, wrong a three doesn't help. Uh, well, you oh, have plus a bardic plus. and bless, so I think you'll yeah. be fine. Uh, we'll see. You gotta roll them. Roll and don't tell me the results. I'll throw in the bardic because I can. That's a D8, right? D10. D10. <laughs> Big bardic. Big penis. All right, well. I get punished for saying big penis. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no. you do. You really oh, do. Oh, wait. You wait, don't make it. Mind. Brother, you have advantage from first silvery barbs that you haven't used. Uh Oh, yeah. Shit, you're right, you're right, you're right. So Maybe you... I don't have to use all those other useless resources. Nope. Same exact result. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Elmara, you feel as your body becomes... Something surges from one of its tentacles where it hooks into your skin... Uh, whatever exposed skin is on you because you're wearing a lot of armor. Um, 
I guess your tail. No, my tail's armored. That is canonic. Okay, I have no idea. <laughs> it, it, it somehow has hooked its things <laughs> into you. <laughs> uh, you feel something sludge-like enter your veins. Whatever it is, it is horrific. Nasty. And disgusting. You are now you are now diseased. Just FYI. I can't be diseased, I'm a paladin. Immune to disease and poisons. Not poisons, just a disease. God damn it. Whatever. Fine, you're not diseased. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> I understand. It, it, I know it's part of the class. I don't worry about it. I'm it's just saying burned. it gets burnt out of her system immediately. <laughs> it enters and goes. <laughs> <laughs> Is eradicated by divine energy. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm sorry, little one. <laughs> I too have felt this disappointment before. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moves close to the door. Hit, try to hit Gilrog this time. He's gonna hit me through the door. <clears throat> no, he's coming. He, I'm, he, on the, he, I'm, I'm on the. I'm on the corner. I'm behind the corner. He hit me right around the corner. Damn. Okay. Well, I don't think he does hit you. He hit, he rolled a fifteen. Suck my ass. Right. And I that, say, ha fat ass. That's all he can. <laughs> that's all he can do. That's annoying. Um, Rook he he's gonna die. <laughs> Rook shall hop on this uh, table and smash the PCs. Hop down. Oop a doop a doop. Hit him. <laughs> you gotta roll it for me. I, mean, I know I am. Something, something. I'm gonna put something, something, something. You know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it just takes a... It's... Long sword plus three. Rah. <laughs> 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 Y'all suck ass. <laughs> Second one gets him. There we go. There we go. You must be bugging. Be bowling. Ah, uh, fifteen he takes damage. Nine, nine he takes nine. Oh wait, yeah, he has a sword. He has a shield, so fifteen. Uh, yeah. Because he doesn't use the D ten. All right. Uh, and I guess he'll expend a smite. You can also just hit him again. A uh, true, 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 true. No, he can't. He uh, he already did one attack. He two... Yeah, he has two attacks. Yeah, he already rolled for one of those attacks. Ah, that's right. I'm retarded. Um, I got con you confused me. I don't worry about it. Let me um, smite it if he wants to. Yeah, I'll let him. I'll have him smite it. Do a little, do a little smiting. Con little save smoke. on the older can it fails. Uh, you rook smites it with an unknown divine energy as it goes up in flames and dissolves. Wow. Uh, rook. <clears throat> That was weird. Can I have a I, healing po could I have a healing potion, please? I throw him uh, I throw him uh, let me see what I got here. Oh you're about uh, to get the discipline uh, mom look. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I throw him a, I, I throw him a, a normal potion of healing. You're a dick. You're a real prick. <laughs> yeah, he'll glare at you after that. What <laughs> is all I got? Mm -hmm. Is all I got? I swear. <laughs> I hate you so much for this. I look around the room. <laughs> hey, at least he heals. Uh, roll minimum. At least he heals a big old, a big old eight. Alkios believed you because his wisdom sucks. <laughs> Get fucked. What's in this? What's it? What's around this room? This place is sussy. This room it has a large box, and again, like the others, it looks like it was left in a hurry. A prominent gilded chair that is partially broken and rotted through with warped wood stands at a desk. You see on the floor a large map and detailed schematics of some sort of unknown... Well, you do actually because you guys have magic. Um, it's a DNA map, but you don't understand how to read it. Yo, Sunflower, what the fuck is this? 
I'm not a biologist. <laughs> He'll look at it and we'll look at you. But that's the... biology stuff. It looks like just a whole bunch of dots. It looks like something the kid made. Indeed, it is a bio biological diagram. At the top, it reads Genetic Blueprints for Subject Alpha 712. It's a hmm. weird name for a, for a person. I don't think that whatever this is, it's probably not a person. Decom didn't really work. Well, unless the person was dying already. How the fuck does Rook have an AC of 26? Jesus. I'll ask Chris later. We'll find we'll, yeah, I was about to say, I'm like, <laughs> god damn, what kind of legendary armor and shield does this motherfucker have? Uh... I... Is there anything else interesting in this room, or is it just uh, weird? Well, DNA map that I can't read because I'm not a biologist. There are some books. Um, they're, I mean, they're rotting though. Uh, silverfish pour over the edges and into the walls, along with springtails. Oh my god, Minecrafter's worst nightmare. Run! Uh, I mean, in that case, I leave. There's nothing more interesting in this room. Oh, well, I. You can perceive you haven't investigated. I thought that was kind of you know implied when I say I look around the room to see if I find anything. You gotta roll for it, for what I'm no. referring to. It's you not obvious. I, you didn't ask me to. I go again, because I still have from Silvery Barbs, 23. Um, something, as you leave to exit the room, something within the box behind you glints in the dimmest flicker of light that emerges from the halogen bulbs that occasionally flick on and on on and off. I look in the box. Inside you see a metallic sphere. Hmm. It is filled with a liquid of silver color. Ada, it looks like your silvery barb spell. Yeah. Strange. I'll, 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 is it like, is it, it's filled with silvery liquid, but it's a see-through, like, glass? Yes, the, the sphere is a see-through sphere, and I, the liquid is inside. I shake it a little bit. Yep. You shake it. Do I, does it just, just still just look like liquid? It's shiny, it's beautiful, it's mesmerizingly shiny. Hmm. Bag of holding. Uh, you can roll me an arcana to see, or history to see if you remember what this looks similar to. Sure. Uh, yeah. Wow. Wow. It, it looks awfully akin to what that goblin lady dumped on Rook when she was torturing him. Huh. I found some nanomachines, son. <laughs> oh. Make the mother of all omelets here, Lamara. We can't fret over every egg. We we need to be very you need to be very careful with those. Sunflower will come next to you. Okay, I put it in my bag. <laughs> what what I what are all this stuff? You see Alkios poking one of the touch screens just like lost. Uh, I don't know. Ask this guy. I point to Rook as I. <laughs> That's to just him. a monitor. It's. We'll figure out how to communicate these things more effectively later. We should continue to explore. I'm coming up. Yeah. I want the world to know. I open door down here. Oh. All right. Inside, you see what appears to be a hallway where there is broken uh, key card access. The door just opens for you anyway. Along the lines of the shelves, you see preserved in jars specimens of various horrifying varieties. Uh, you see a mind flayer head preserved in a lithid tadpole amongst other experiments, some grafted with crab claws some that almost look like you but a baby in a jar 
and dead. A lot of things I wouldn't know what is. Apart from the mind flare, I'd be like, huh, tadpole. Don't know what that is. So I'd be like, oh, that's a weird slug looking uh, thingy. I Elmara, that. you might know some of these. I look. Roll me an arcana, please. I cast. Oh, she's stupid. I cast testicular torsion. <laughs> Based. Um, <laughs> who do you cast it on? Uh, so with that, yeah. Um, a lot of these are things that you know come from beyond the other realms. You see various objects and horrifying to you at least you see what appears to be a young devil of some sort or well, the head of one killed and preserved in a jar freaks she'll say although I'm not sure how they managed to keep this poor lad I'm turning into Icker I'm gonna take the sample but she's gonna take all the samples. Okay, roll me a perception check. Oh yeah, do I accidentally pick up the hand grenade by the pin? <laughs> yup. <laughs> um. Hey, Alamara, boom. <laughs> well, that's not that's not what happens. Uh, let's see if Alkio sees it as he as he's watching you, because he does he doesn't trust you. But this might be helpful in this game. Hey, yo, guess he's gonna ignore whatever the fuck he says. <laughs> he doesn't notice either. Rook. Does Rook note? Does Sunflower notice? We shall see. Yeah, everything's totally normal. It's not like any of those objects inside of those jars that are meant to be dead totally moved or nothing. Nothing like that happened at all. Y'all, y'all are y'all are all terrible. <laughs> uh, Listen, my, I've ranked one time rolled above a ten so far. <laughs> uh, that's out of that arcana check. <laughs> oh God, I love being a bard, Lamau. Uh, I didn't see any of this because my back is. Dry. I know. I opened the door. Correct. You come into a large shared office space where there appears to be a small kitchenette. Uh, the floorboards, the floor, oh, it's not boards. Uh, the metal is covered with a thin mat of my mycelium uh, that is sticky to walk on. Uh, mushrooms pop out of the chairs. You see people's belongings cluttered. The floor is strewn with what appears to be old documents that have now been grown and overtaken by this fungus. Uh, at the far corner, there is a giant set of monitors and a chair in front of it, uh, with mushrooms again growing out. Uh, the smell is absolutely rancid in here. Uh, I need a okay. con save. Plus five. Oh, ah, 19. 30. <laughs> Just casual. 20. I don't think Damp Moss, he's used to this. Damp Moss doesn't need to roll. <laughs> what about Rook? I'm rolling or, for Rook. <laughs> or Shunflower. Takes a rook sheet takes a minute to load. I wanna. Everyone, everyone makes it. Alkios looks the most nauseated. I I, I uh, listen to see if I hear any weird uh, sounds, considering we just found a fucking boulder came in the other room. Yes, in the room beyond this door, it does sound like there is something scratching on the ground. In this room, no. It's just the buzz of lights and electricity. I go, is there loose, like, vials or something on this table? On the table, it appears that 
there used to be some sort of card game happening before whatever went down here. Um, you want to roll another perception check? Sure. Thirty-two. As you step along the mycelium mat, you can feel underneath your feet like a grandma in best <laughs> Jesus. That's funny. <laughs> I mean, you all are. That's kind of the also, point. Yeah, also, I do need to step away, oh. so that's what I'm most canonically doing, is trying to figure all this shit out. <laughs> Obviously. Okay. She's a saw, saw stub white boy. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll have Gilrock finish this part, and then we'll move on. As you're stepping, you feel a crunch of a bone underneath your foot hidden underneath the mat of fungus. What kind of bone? Human. Bye, Rob. Hmm. I pick a bone and I chuck it at the wall over there. Uh, after years of being partially decomposed, it shatters and it makes a disgusting, mushy, it feels disgustingly mushy in your hand. I need a con save because you just touched that. I'm pretty sure at this point, Dusk, a mushy bone isn't really going to face me that much. I'm just explaining to you, it just feels gross. I'm yeah, just... yeah, but I, I, I'm, I'm arguing <laughs> that Gilwark has been through enough that a mushy bone isn't exactly going to traumatize him. You know? He it's... stared literal demon lords in the face. <laughs> it's, and it's a gross bone. It's called atmosphere. But anyway, roll the con save, please. This isn't about the, the you Fine. throwing up. This is about something else. Fine. That's 24. You got 24 on it? Rook has his aura. Bless. Oh, okay. No, Rook has his aura. Uh, you feel as though something was going to crawl inside of you, but you managed to not get infected. Congrats, you are not diseased. Ooh, uh, wow. Uh, <laughs> does anything come to the bone as I chuck it at the wall, or is, uh, do I still just hear scratchy, scratchy, scratch, scratch? Uh, whatever it is, it's gone quiet. The room goes, the other room goes quiet. It was over here that I heard the noise. Yeah, yeah it's, it's in this, in this room. So beyond right. this door. I listen in at the door. Head on, that door just... We need to be Stop. careful. Whatever these are, they're the first prey, true prey we've had in... 20 years since those last drow tried to infiltrate here. I know, their brains smell delicious. Indeed they do. We should tell the queen of what we have. A veritable feast laid out for us. I go over here. I station all the boys. Um. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I put Rook there. Uh, Alkyos over there, and then I uh, exclaim, "Ah, oh, my leg! I've fallen, and I'm so defenseless and weak. I hope nothing comes and gets me." <laughs> I need a performance for that. <laughs> uh, Twenty-seven. <laughs> uh, I can't move. Uh, I'm so weak. <laughs> yep. The door comes bursting open. Uh, and, and of course, everyone is prepared. Uh, yes. I'm assuming Alkyos will just do Eldritch Blast. Yes, he will. Uh, Dampy has prepared... Um, let me just quickly check his, uh, his uh, thing here. Uh, he has uh, Preparada... Um, well, we're gonna do that next time, but now you know what's in there, as you see before you abominations of the most horrific variety. Yeah, fucking boobers. <laughs> you did really good on the perform- they really thought you had broken your leg. They were ready. Uh, I'm so defenseless, they opened the door to see the goat man go fat ass. That's where we kept the episode. Ugh. Uh, yeah, one of them appears to have been a transformed giant kin. Wow, that's a, 
actual fat ass. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you for watching again. Sorry about the um the next the, the fact we cut off the first half of this episode. Uh, you missed Alkios being angry and the debate getting dunked on. He, oh second. my god. Uh, yeah, he got dunked on. But anyway, um, I would like to thank everyone who makes uh, Nightmares Incarnated Conspiracy of Demons possible, including my my beautiful cast members. Uh, I do, I really, I enjoy them, even if they make me mad sometimes. Uh, they are great. They're great fun to have around. What are you doing, Casper? Hmm? Oh, nothing. You were making a noise. I'm adjusting. Okay. Proceeding. Um. And of course, we, we appreciate the artists as well who make Nightmares Incarnated Conspiracy of Demons possible, including Caribou, Principles 1212, uh, Ivan Dudar, um, Dunro, amongst many. Please go check them out. They're on Fiverr. Um, we're going to be getting a new poster soon. Uh, and yeah, the poster is going to be really cool. Um, I'm really excited. I, I think that uh, this is going to be really interesting. I'm interested to see how, what the players do here. Um, we're finally getting into the real meat of Act 2. Um, and although Rob isn't here, uh, I have good news for you, Gilrock. What's going on? Uh, you get a level up. Uh, uh, <laughs> this is where we level up, yep. not when fighting ancient beings it's when we walk into the rat infested sewers that's fucking crazy bro <laughs> uh this yeah. is this isn't a sewer this is a research facility also you're in the black road now which is what i promised i said when you would get to the black road you get your level up pog i don't get anything as a bard but it's so cool <laughs> all right um so they will be at level 11 next time and i will be trying to murder them We'll see how it goes. He's gonna, fa he's gonna fail, guys. I'm just letting you know. He's not gonna have a fucking chance. Alright. See you next time. Bye. Bye.